European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen visited the central Bosnian village of Donja Jeblanica on Thursday, after it was devastated by recent floods and landslides. The disaster in early October claimed 27 lives, and the small village was virtually buried in rocks that descended on the village from a quarry located on a hill above. I am here 20 days after the disaster and it is still heartbreaking to see the devastation, the destruction here in the region," said von der Leyen. Bosnia has sought EU aid and many countries have sent teams to help through the EU's civil protection mechanism. Europe stands with you and we are here not only for the short run but also for the mid and long term, to help you first of all, of course to help immediately, but second to reconstruct and rebuild after the disaster," she added. Unfortunately, the other side, when uh, the box came from the ferry, Hello. Uh, at 7 in the morning, going for work, not knowing what is happening. <laughs> I am here 20 days after the disaster and it is still heartbreaking to see the devastation, the destruction uh, here in the region. First and foremost, my thoughts are with the victims and the families and friends they left behind. Uh, what a horrible experience. I heard that the disaster started in the middle of the night. People had no chance to uh, flee the destruction. And I wanted to say Europe is by your side. Europe stands with you. And we're here not only for the short run, but also for the mid and long term to help you, first of all, of course, to uh, help immediately, but secondly, to reconstruct and rebuild after the disaster again. Russian lawmakers on Thursday ratified a pact with North Korea envisioning mutual military assistance, a move that comes as the U.S. confirmed the deployment of 3,000 North Korean troops to Russia. The lower house of the Russian parliament, 
the State Duma, voted quickly to endorse the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership Treaty that Russia's President Vladimir Putin signed with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on a visit to Pyongyang in June. The upper house is expected to follow suit soon. The pact obliges Russia and North Korea to immediately provide military assistance using all means if either is attacked. It marked the strongest link between Moscow and Pyongyang since the end of the Cold War. The US said Wednesday that 3,000 North Korean troops have been deployed to Russia and are training at several locations, calling the move very serious and warning that those forces will be fair game if they go into combat in Ukraine. At the same plenary session, the State Duma also passed a draft budget proposed by the government. It earmarked 32.5% of its spending next year for defense, a record amount and up from a reported 28.3% this year, as Moscow seeks to prevail in its military campaign in Ukraine. The budget proposes spending just under 13.5 trillion rubles, over $145 billion, on national defense. That is about 3 trillion rubles more than was set aside for defense this year and was the previous record. The fighting in Ukraine is Europe's biggest conflict since World War II and has drained the resources of both sides, with Ukraine getting billions of dollars in help from its Western allies. Russian President Vladimir Putin is also looking how to sustain his military effort as spending has placed a huge strain on the Russian economy. Проект федерального закона о ратификации договора о всеобъемлющем стратегическом партнерстве между Российской Федерацией и Корейской Народно-Демократической Республикой. Пожалуйста, включите режим голосования. Кто за? Покажите результат голосования. За 397, против нет, воздержавшись нет. Федеральный закон принят единогласно. Поздравляем! эти мероприятия деньги учтены. Логическое лидерство. Мы с учетом тех потребностей Министерства обороны и других силовых ведомств, которые участвуют в специальной военной операции, составили военный бюджет. В первоочередном порядке деньги на это учтены. Рассматривали вопросы на закрытых статьях. Объемы увеличены по сравнению с уровнем текущего года. Это первоочередная наша, наша задача. Здесь и э, непосредственно закупка вооружений военной техники, денежное довольствие военнослужащих, обеспечение, как мы говорили, социальной поддержки семей военнослужащих, модернизация предприятий оборонно-промышленного комплекса. Если у вас только проценты по долгам, будет три с лишним триллиона. Понимая, что главные позиции – это государственное управление, государственная безопасность, и государственная оборона. Мы максимально поддержим эту линию, но в целом считаем, социально-экономическая политика должна, в конце концов, вылезти из этой Ельцинско-Гайдаровской вороватой разрушительной клеи, которую протоптали. Мы воздержимся при голосовании. На голосование третьего законопроект в первом чтении принят. Туда, от этого ничего больше не прибавит. Можно прикрываться... Oh,